Hello, and thank you for joining today's SAM Talk. My name is Rudy Sias. I am the Cloud Accelerations and Licensing Leader on the Worldwide SAM and Compliance Team. Today's SAM Talk is going to cover the SAM MCP exam preparation tips. Today's SAM Talk will um, take about 15 minutes. We're going to cover three topics. First, what the test is and who the test is for, how to prepare for the test, and then finally, how to register for the exam. So jumping right into it, this SAM core exam 70-713 is the latest Microsoft industry-focused SAM certification. It has been updated for the first time in about five years. And this exam now has hybrid and cloud scenarios that weren't available in the last SAM certification offered by Microsoft. The certification gives you several things, but the first and foremost, it gives you industry accepted Microsoft SAM credentials and MCP bragging rights. What I mean by that is whenever anybody takes a Microsoft, Microsoft Certified Professional exam, they are specifically given several benefits. One of them is the ability to use the Microsoft Certified Professional logo. Now this stays with the individual who takes and passes the individual exams. So for example, I've taken several of these uh, MCP exams and I have the right to put this on my business card, on my resume. It follows you, it's part of your career path. The second thing, and this is brand new, is the new digital SAM MCP badge offered by Acclaim. Now, a certain few of the Microsoft MCPs have also been designated this badge, and the badge is a digital way to simply and easily share your credentials. You can post these to LinkedIn, to social media, you can also append it to your resume. And it specifically shows employers, um, colleagues, peers, your credentials in an easy, quick, and digital way. And then finally, the SAM certification is also a requirement for the new SAM solution expertise. So if you work for a um, former uh, silver or gold Microsoft SAM certified partner, the new competency is called the SAM solution expertise. Now, one of the requirements, of course, is to have the 70-713 SAM certification. So this will get you on your way to making sure your organization is uh, branded as um, having the Microsoft SAM solution expertise. The SAM core exam covers five areas. The first one, it measures the ability to assess SAM programs using the SAM optimization model. It also tracks your ability to manage software licenses, coordinate data collection technologies, design and manage a SAM program, and manage the software asset lifecycle. So this is just a snapshot of the five different sections of the SAM exam. The percentages below also show you specifically how much time is allocated to each of the different modules. For full details, including uh, specifically what is in each of these five sections, visit aka.ms slash SAM MCP. Here you'll see the full blueprint of the SAM certification. One uh, other quick thing to mention is that the blueprint was co-written by members from ITAM, the Industry Association of IT Asset Managers. So we really wanted to make sure that this SAM exam wasn't just a Microsoft-focused exam. It really is an industry-focused competency. Some people ask me how this exam measures up with other certifications. And so we want to give you just kind of a snapshot of how this exam would compare to other exams. So first and foremost, we wanted to first create something that gave a entry level exam, a starter level of certification that um, maybe new employees, uh, people that have been in SAM for a while but wanted a refresher course, or maybe you're working on a partner to partner scenario where you as a SAM professional are working with a non-SAM partner, like a hoster or an, uh, a systems integrator or an ISV, and they want to have a basic level of SAM knowledge. The new Microsoft SAM Solution Specialist Lite exam is a 100 level exam. It's absolutely free from getlicensingready.com. It is a great way to show um, a very basic competency in SAM. And by doing that, you'll get a certification. The next level up is what we're discussing today, the Microsoft SAM Core 70-713 Microsoft Certified Professional Certification. Say that five times fast. This is a 300 level exam. It's not free, it's about $165 depending on your currency rate. This is ideal for those that have been in a SAM role for at least nine to 12 months. 
anything below that and you're probably not going to have the the experience to go take this exam um, as I mentioned before these are industry accepted SAM credentials and it's also part of the Microsoft certified professional network of of exams now if you want to go above and beyond the Microsoft SAM core exam which is absolutely fine and we recommend it there are other third-party industry certifications I do call it ITAM here specifically because I have the most experience with them myself and they also helped us write the blueprint for the SAM core exam the industry certifications are most likely going to be much higher level exams than what we've uh, mentioned previously 100 or 300 level they're going to be 400 plus level exams, which means they're going to be much more difficult. Um, the cost might vary, vary by organization and certification type. And these are ideal for SAM experts that want another level of industry SAM acknowledgement. So I absolutely recommend all of these certifications and just to make sure that they apply to the individual type. So if you have a new uh, SAM professional joining your team, I really recommend the SAM Solution Specialist Lite. After a few months enroll, makes absolute sense for them to consider becoming Microsoft SAM Core certified. And then, um, if they really want to show a, another level of industry SAM expertise, I do recommend third-party industry certifications. Okay, now let's get into the preparation portion of this. How to prepare for the SAM MCP exam. This is kind of a busy slide, but I want to make sure that we cover all of the um, different types of materials you have available. As I mentioned already, if you've been on the job for at least six to nine months, you sh as in a SAM role, that is, you should be well positioned to go take and pass the exam. It doesn't mean you shouldn't study, so we do have quite a few study materials available to you guys. The first thing I recommend is to read the skills measured, in other words, this, this is the exam blueprint co-written by ITAM, to avoid any surprises. It, the link was on the previous page. So go out, review what's on, specifically on the exam, you shouldn't have any surprises. The next thing, and this is probably the number one piece of advice I give out to anybody who wants to go prepare and study for this exam, is to print out and study the Microsoft SAM optimization model. And I'll show a demo of what that looks like in just a moment here. Next, review the ISO 19770-1 standard. Again, this is the basis for industry SAM. It is not free to download the full ISO standard for SAM, but I have a link here to the summary that is available for free by ISO. Finally, um, a few weeks back, we created a Secrets of Microsoft SAM Core Certification uh, article that was posted to LinkedIn. There's two parts. The first part talks about the history of the SAM MCP exam offered by Microsoft. Part two offers up the secrets, not the secrets, but the, um, the study material, similar to what like, we're discussing today, that will help you go and, and, and pass the exam. It also offers step-by-step -step how to register for the exam. I've had lots of registration questions. How, you know, what link do I specifically click here? So I really recommend if you have questions, go to LinkedIn and look at the secrets of the Microsoft SAM Core certification articles that were written by us a few weeks ago. Finally, online, we have a number of resources. The first one are free SAM MCP exam prep courses offered at getlicensingready.com. These are absolutely free, broken down into five modules, and I'll show those here in a moment. Also on getlicensingready.com are other free SAM and licensing courses. I really recommend you familiarize yourself with the getlicensingready.com portal, and again, I'll show you that website in just a moment here. Um, there are third-party courses out there that are offered for a fee by other companies. For example, I'll plug two here. Um, the licensing school is offering online courses for this MCP exam for 70-713. These are three-hour courses with a break offered by the licensing school. The cost varies and it's in uh, British pounds, but there are a number of sessions upcoming. And I recommend you go to licensingschool.co.uk, look at the courses, and sign up for these courses if you haven't taken one already. Finally, there's also Cresco360.com. Cresco360.com is partnering with Licensing School, but they are also ITAM certified uh, trainers. So if you're looking to get, take additional courses, become ITAM certified as well, I would recommend you visit Cresco360.com for more information. All right. Next, we're going to have a quick little demo on two things. We're going to cover what the SOM looks like. I recommended um, my best bit of advice is to go download, print, and study the SOM. So let's dig right into the SOM. 
The SAM is the Microsoft SAM Optimization Model, so it's an acronym within an acronym. It's a, I think it's about five or six page document that explains the SAM and compares it to ISO standards. So the great thing about this is that it's a beautifully documented uh, process explaining ISO 19770-1 standards, but also um, the different stages of the SAM. So this is a freely downloadable document. I have links to it within this recording. And it's, let's see how many pages is it? It's nine pages. So it's a nine page document. I really truly recommend you print it out, study it, um, look at all the different uh, steps within the SAM process, and it's going to really help you prepare and pass the exam. All right. The next thing I wanted to demo is going to be the getlicensingready.com portal itself. So getlicensingready.com is run by the licensing school. We built the, these modules in partnership. So if you haven't been to this website before, I recommend you register. If you have visited before, go ahead and log in. And I've logged in before, so I'll log in. Okay, and as you can see, um, on the main page here, it takes you right to the certifications to get licensing ready certifications. I am certified in Microsoft Licensing Solution Specialists, and I'm also a SAM Solution Specialist Lite. And I recommend you go and take all these courses that will help you with your licensing skills, but also your SAM skills. But right now, I'm going to show you the exam preparation section. So right in the middle, there's an exam preparation link. And there are two exam preps available today on Get Licensing Ready. One is 74-678, and this is the Volume Licensing MCP exam prep. 70-713 is the SAM MCP exam prep. We'll click on that one. Now, as I mentioned before, there are five parts to the SAM MCP exam itself. And logically, the SAM MCP exam prep offered on Get Licensing Ready, it directly aligns to those five different sections. So these modules, we'll just go ahead and click the first one. These modules offer you first online training and then a link again to the SAM optimization model. When you reviewed the online training, you go through the questions, and if you pass with an 80%, it means you, you've passed and you're basically going to be prepared to go and take and pass the exam. doesn't mean you shouldn't study all those things that I've mentioned, but this is just a quick way to go out there and make sure that you have the uh, basis of knowledge for going to take and pass the exam. All right. Moving on, how to register for the exam. So when you are prepared, you feel that you're, you're prepared and you've studied enough and you're ready to go take the exam, first you must decide if you want to take this, the, the exam on site or do it online. For example, I've taken it myself on site. A number of my teammates here on the corporate SAM and compliance team have taken it online. Um, first, just decide which one is white for you. Then after you've decided that, you can choose your exam date and time. Make sure you allocate at least three hours for the exam. Um, that's going to be you know, time to prepare your, your office or your room, wherever you're taking the exam, if you're doing it online, to make it to the testing center, and then a couple hours to go physically take the exam. And then once you're ready, um, once you've decided what days you want to do it, go and, go and register at aka.ms slash SAMMCP. So if you want to take the test on site, meaning you want to go to a testing center, Go to pearsonview.com slash Microsoft slash locate and find a testing location near you. So for example, me, um, I work here at Microsoft in Redmond, Washington. I did a search for a testing location near me and the nearest testing center was at Bellevue College, basically about a mile down the road from me. Um, it was really easy to get to. It's a community college. Um, Every time somebody has asked me around the world to help them find a location to go take the test, I've always found at least 10 or 15 testing centers if you're near a, a larger metropolitan uh, city. Uh, so anyways, a number of, of test locations around the world, thousands of them in fact, and find the testing location near you. If you don't see one um, in your area, then it might be a great uh, indicator to go take the test online. Once you've determined uh, your testing location, visit aka.ms slash SAMMCP. Uh, this will send you over to the learning page for the SAM MCP, and then you'll be able to click uh, Schedule Exam, where you'll follow the registration directions on how to go uh, register for the exam. Finally, on test day, when you're ready, arrive at your testing location early if you can, with identification. You'll need uh, an ID with you to verify you are who you are. You may not take in any notes. It is not an open book test or mobile devices. 
at the testing location I went to, uh, they had uh, little lockable um, cubbies that I was able to put my, my personal effects in, and you'll probably have something very similar. If you're looking to take the test online, what you should do first is verify your system requirements. If you're using an older machine, you might not have the system requirements capable of, of taking the, uh, the online project exam. But assuming you do, uh, you'll again visit aka.ms slash SAMMCP, click schedule the exam, and follow the registration directions for an online proctored exam. Uh, on test day, you can take the, uh, the online uh, test, in my experience, as much as one hour after registering. You can do it almost immediately. Uh, on your testing day, ensure your testing area is private. So if you're in an office, I would really recommend you put a do not disturb sign on your door because if somebody walks in on you while you're taking your exam, your proctor may terminate the exam, which means you would fail it. So make sure you're in a, a, a private area um, and you're not going to be bothered by anyone else. All right, to go ahead and uh, summarize, I I've mentioned this a few times, but my number one best piece of advice is to print out and study the Microsoft SAM optimization model. After you've done that, take the free MCP exam prep courses that I've showed you on getlicensingready.com, built in coordination with the licensing school. These five modules that are at uh, getlicensingready.com directly align with the, with the real true live exam. Finally, Read the two articles that are up on LinkedIn about how to prepare and take the exam. Article number one is about kind of more the history of the exam and why we decided to upgrade it. Um, and then number two is the step-by-step -step study materials that we've kind of covered here, here but also a step-by-step -step process on how to register, even more so than what I've covered here today. That is it. Thank you for attending today's SAM Talk call on the MCP exam prep materials. In the appendix, there's also an FAQ. So if you have a few other questions, um, that's here for you. Uh, that's available to you as well. If um, that doesn't answer your questions, I would still really recommend you reach out to your local Microsoft SAM person, or if you need to, reach out to me. My, again, my name is Rudy Sias. I'm the cloud and licensing lead on the worldwide SAM and compliance team at Microsoft. Thank you very much for attending today.